What's going on everyone? Wonder Doctor Genius back with another Prodigy video and in today's video we're going over some of the pet art style updates and more updates around pets which have dropped their way into Prodigy. So without further ado, let's get to that. Now if you look at our pet book and scroll down over here, you guys can see that Prodigy changed the art for a lot of pets in the game. So I'm going to be showing you each and every pet which Prodigy changed the art for, so let's get to it. So Prodigy didn't change anything on the front pages. So you can keep on going by until we reach this page. Now when we reach this page, you guys may not realize what this is. Because this used to be the Squawkles. I mean, the previous version of Squawkles used to look so much better. But they decided to change Squawkles along with its evolution, which is Tribeak, into basically 3x Squawkles, as you guys can see. Honestly, I'm still gonna say it, but it looks, it looks like the Blueberry, if you ask me. So as you guys can see, the first patch which they decided to change was a tribeak. And over here, next to tribeak, it says harder to take down three birds with one stone. Well, I've heard this saying that two birds with one stone. So I guess if you throw the stone in, if hard, so I guess if you throw the stone hard enough, you may be able to take down three birds. Interesting though. And if you look over here, it says it's tough being a bird with no legs or body. Hold up. What are those over there? Those seem like those seem like talons which are connected to a leg or body, but squawkles or body but squawkles never complain um i have one question what is this i'm pretty sure squawkle has a body but apparently it doesn't have legs or a body okay so it's just a floating brain or something because to me that looks like it has a body and a brain and legs right so that's not the only thing on the first page if you look to our side over here as you guys can see you can see sensei vu and um sensei vu and sifu over here and if you look to the side, as you guys can see, they changed the art from the Cloud Nibbler and the Cloud Gobbler. Of course, the Cloud Nibbler looks like a recolored whale from a TV show which I used to watch. And if you head to the Cloud Gobbler, well, this looks like you just put Sensei Wushu. Alright guys, so this looks like they just photoshopped Shifu on top of the Cloud Nibbler and made it older. Along with that, they also added the mustache or eyebrows of Sensei Wu on top of it. Honestly, this kind of looks like some pretty interesting thing. Honestly, I wonder what their inspiration was to make this look like Shifu. That's my question. Right, that's not the only thing. If you flip over to the next page, as you guys can see, nothing changes. Next page, nothing changes. And then we reach this page where they changed almost 9 pets, right? Now let's get to this. So as you guys can see, over here we have the top 4. Now, they changed all of the evolution from Bernie to Ember Shed, along with that they changed the Evolutions, Paradoxius, and all of the Scribbles, Quantum Squirrel. So let's look at them. So now, as you guys can see, we have a Bernie over here. It does kind of look cute. I think it's good enough that it looks this. I mean, I prefer the old one-ish. Nah. I mean, this does look cool. I'm okay with it, although maybe if they kept the old one and added some little changes and didn't make it look too cartoonish, it's okay. Now guys, here we have the thing new, which looks like it's a baby dragon from like Clash Royale. Like, this looks like the baby dragon except he clipped its wings, which sounds totally demonic. demonic. And then over here, as you guys can see, it's the ink for new. And then we have the ember shed. You know, I like the transition which they made. I like how they made the transition so you can see that it evolves. And unlike the previous anim unlike the previous art style of the pets, you couldn't really tell it was going to evolve into a huge dragon until it did, right? So I like this because from this we can actually tell that it's evolving and in my opinion this doesn't look too bad although I would prefer a new Ember Shed redesign you know that would look kind of cool I do know it takes very it takes a very long time to make this stuff and to color holy cow does it take so long right not only that if you look over here as you guys can see they changed the art cell for the evil lotus along with the paradoxius now personally, now personally, if you ask me, I kind of don't like the Evil Lotus, it kind of looks like the green snake, and I do not like snakes. But over here, we head to the Paradoxius, which for some reason has fire on its tail like a Charizard, and it kind of looks like the Sea Serpent. So, what do I think of these? Well, I don't like the first one, the second one is good, but the previous one was, eh, the previous one was kind of eh, but can they please add wings back to this? I mean, it's pretty cool. It says, it's rumored that the Paradoxus was abandoned in ice. Right? So, it seems like they're trying to give a dragon type look because as you guys can see over here on the side, it says that the Paradoxus was an abandoned dragon and raised by a pack of humans. So, my, that might explain why it has electric spells, although it does kind of look like a dragon. 
So perhaps Evil Lotus is are actually a baby version of a dragon and the Paradoxius is the actual dragon. Okay, that's interesting. And then over here we have the Squibble, Squabble, and Squirrel. Now, I'll just give you guys a second to look at all of them. Alright, so after looking at them, the Squibble looks decent, it's fine. But when we move on to the Squabble and the Squirrel, God, I hate these two, right? I usually don't hate the art styles much at all, but these two just look terrible. I mean, I'm being honest here, these two just look completely terrible. I can't comment anything else on these. Right, and then next, if you keep on flipping through the pet book, you guys will see that fam, what is this? What did they do? What pet is this? Well, as you guys can see, it's a pocket. Now, this looks like the mini scorpion which hasn't grown its tail yet. I mean, this looks pretty cool. It looks like the baby dragon. Why am I saying everything as a baby dragon? It looks like someone used the head of a baby dragon on a scorpion, which is armored, and has leaf or tail. And this kind of looks like the lobster, if you guys ask me. I mean, this does look like the lobster. We can see the lobster body, the tails. Just remove the horns and put the mantis together. And as you guys can see, this kind of looks like the lobster or crayfish. I kind of like it. It also somewhat resembles a scorpion, but I'm gonna go with lobster or cray crayfish. And do we see the evolution? Yes. Was it the old sprite breader? Kind of, although I think maybe they should have transferred from the old sprite to something a little bit not so insecty. Like maybe don't make it too much of an insect because I kind of don't like insects much. Especially if they're scorpions, because I do not like scorpions at all. And then we look down over here. And you can see what they did to Bitbox. Now, if you look down over here, as you guys can see, they did something to Bitbox, Bashbox, and Batterbox. Right, so as you guys can see, the evolution here is kind of shown well. Although the recoloring, although the recoloring is kind of weird, I guess you could say. Although it does match as what they are. And now, as you guys can see, looks like they made the Bashbot look much better. Wait, that kind of looks like one of the Simpsons faces. I don't know, that kind of does look like that. So as you guys can see, they didn't change too much, nor did they change too little. And almost everything except for that looks static. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go through all of the pet battles, one by one, and show you guys what they look like, right? Alright guys, so I'm gonna scroll down right over here. And you guys have obviously previously seen me fight with a Paradoxius and Ember Shed. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna equip some of my other pets. So here, let's equip the Evo Lotus, which is somehow at a level 94 that I did not know. And then let's equip the Sing Mutes. And now, let's head to battle. Alright, so as you guys can see, my pet is following me along over here. And now we will head into battle against the Crystal Monster. And now over here, we have our Evo Lotus. Now the Evo Alright, so this is what its attack animation looks like. You guys can see that it somewhat looks like a dragon, although... Uh, <laughs> it's a pretty weird attack animation, if you guys ask me. Now, as you guys can see, looks like we've equipped our thing and used with just 50,000 damage. Well, that's nice. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast the volcano and see what the animation is. So, as you guys can see, I've just casted my spell correct. And it seems like that the dinosaur kind of stands up and looks like it's like about to set on fire or something. You know what? Let's get a replay of that. Let's watch it. So it seems like it stands up on its hind leg and opens its mouth and then sets on fire. It looks like it's almost trying to do a dragon attack, if you guys can see it. Alright, so I'm going to quickly equip my next few pets and show you their attack animations in battle. Here we have the Infernute, so let's just add that onto our team and search for the next pet with new animations. Now, you guys already saw the Ember Shed and the Paradoxia, so let's keep on moving along. And you guys can see, I have to move a fair while before we end up against our next few pets. Now, our next few pets are pretty weak, if you guys ask me. So, I'll have to actually move them to the front, actually. But still, it won't affect their animation. Their attack animation will still be cool. So, let's head back to Crystal Caverns and use them to attack. Yeah. I'm gonna have to re-log in. Wait, guys, do you see how big this is? This is absolutely humongous in Crystal Caverns! Holy cow! This is humongous and scary! Look at how big this is in Crystal Caverns! Ugh. Yeah, let's just go into battle with this guy at the front of our team and see how good he does. 
So here you guys can see our tiny lobsters walking up into battle with a scorpion. So now we're just going to cast our spell and see his attack animation and see his losing animation. Yeah! Alright, so here we go. It seems like he stands up and causes an earthquake to happen underneath him, which is amazing, but he did absolutely no damage. This guy did absolutely no damage to the enemy. Alright, let's watch his attack animation again. So right, during his attack animation, it seems like he stands up on his back four legs and stomps down on the ground, causing an earthquake doing 106 damage. Obviously, you guys can tell that's a pretty bad spell. Wait, guys, am I actually going to be able to defeat the crystal monster using this spell? Let's find out. He'll be able to attack us so I can switch my pets along. Another 107 damage. If this keeps on doing 107 damage, I'm gonna have to have cast like I'm gonna if this keeps on doing 107 damage, I'm gonna have to cast 85 spells to defeat this. Now we're gonna switch over to our tiny pocket, which looks interesting. It's like a sort of it's like in a sort of attack mode where it's like I'm ready to attack this thing. Dun, dun, dun. And it seems like we're gonna be attacking with our pocket, which basically jumps up in the air as if it's some sort of Superman. Alright. That's kind of cool. Let's watch that again. Yeah, that looked... It seems like it jumped up into the air while waving its arms around frantically trying to defeat the enemy. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. And if you did, don't forget to smack ring that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up. And I will be catching you all in the next video. And if you guys want to see more Prodigy update information videos with the new pets and stuff which is going along, along with their an attack animations and stuff, well, I'd recommend hitting the subscribe button, turning on the notification bell, and giving this video a like. Not only that, I will also be publishing some tutorial videos on multiple stuff. So yeah, subscribe, like, and I will be catching you all next time. In the meantime, Alan the Cool gonna catch some cool pets. Bye, have a good time.